My son was a great musician, or he was, let's just say, he had an incredible passion for music. The Fox Theater in Redwood City plays host to Zach Fest this weekend. But as KTV's Ann Rubin explains, it's no ordinary music festival. It's a father's love letter to the memory of his son. Little boys, they grow up fast. Just one bleak and childhood's past. This was how Garrick Davis and his son Zach communicated best, through music. So when it came time to pay tribute to Zach's memory, a concert only seemed fitting. I couldn't do it in a, in a room. I had to do it in a theater. This was the perfect place. So he booked the Fox Theater in Redwood City, then started arranging the bands. Suddenly, Zach Fest was born. What can I do but um, really create something that's as big as my love for my son has been? Zach passed away in December of 2020 after a struggle with opioid addiction. He had been in recovery and thriving in nursing school when the pandemic hit. His father thinks the isolation of COVID took its toll, and he thinks it's important to talk about it. It's like I'm acting like I'm ashamed of him. Uh, what I'm proud of is the fight that he put on. One of the things I hope to do is help to bring uh, that disease into the light. And so Zach Fest will include members of the recovery community. It will also raise money for a new foundation called Zach's Cares. Garrick hopes it will focus on music and wellness. He says planning this has brought a lot of emotions to the forefront. What makes me miss him more? But I'm actually so happy that people are going to be able to see the things that they see. And what they'll see and hear, he says, is a lot of great music. He's living, you know, he's, he's, his spirit is here with us, like all night long it's going to be. Um, so that's, that's what I'm excited about. The first annual Zach Fest gets underway at 7 p.m. on Saturday, April 2nd. Tickets are $25 a piece and there are plenty still available. At the Fox Theater in Redwood City, Ann Rubin, KTVU Fox 2 News.